sometimes people don't know how to find their crease, especially if they have hooded eyes. So we're gonna talk about a tip in order to find where you should put your crease color. All right, let's start out with a crease brush. This is a crease brush. You can see it's uh, skinny on one side and wider, and it's very compact. It's like a very tight little bristles. Okay, so that's a great crease brush. Um, I did already start out by putting with a fluffy brush, just a neutral color all over. So this is the crease color I'm gonna use today. Here's the tip. You look straight ahead with your eyes open and you go right where your crease appears to be, right there. Okay, so you can see when I close my eyes, my tendency might be to put my crease here. But you can see how much higher up that is. And that's gonna give you a lot more space to work with. So go ahead and put that crease color there. Same on the other side, eyes open. Put it where your crease appears to be. Not where it is once you lift your, put your lid down, right? See the difference? Put it up there. And we're blending up from there. Okay. Now dip back into the crease color, and we're gonna go to the corner of the eye, like this, and then pull it in. Other side, corner of the eye, and then pull it in. Okay, so there is where our crease color should be. Now, it might look a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it out on a fluffy brush, fluffy brush like this. And take a color just lighter or an accent color to the color you just used in your crease. I'm gonna use a little highlighting color, actually. Uh, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. Also blend this out with the same color. So you can do this pulling up motion. You can also go side to side. Now we're gonna do our eye pop we talked about yesterday. So, small fluffy brush, clean, and I'm going to use crystalline here just to make a little pop under the brow. Let's do that again over here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with eyeliner and mascara and show you the final result. Okay, so here's the final result. Um, the colors I used were rustic, crystalline, and glazed. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.